I come to make an announcement. You. This goes out to you, and you, and you, and you. This goes out to you. Imagine if you had a 16 year old daughter and she had been nagging you about going to a party with friends for weeks. Your wife tells you, hey baby, you should allow her to go so she could begin to socialize with friends. She'll be a young adult soon. So you finally allow her to go. Her friends pick her up. Before she leaves, you tell her to be back home by 11 o'clock, no exceptions. You give her a kiss, a hug, she enters the car and they drive away. Now you have some particular superpowers. You're omniscient, meaning you know all before it even happens. And you're omnipresent, meaning you're everywhere at all times. So your daughter is at this party, having a good time. Then someone suddenly slips something in her drink. It begins to make her feel dizzy. Then a guy leads her to a closet in one of those rooms. And he begins to sexually assault your daughter. Now you are omniscient, meaning you already knew this would happen. And you are also omnipresent, meaning you are actually watching this guy sexually assault your daughter. I don't think I would have to ask any adult what they would do. Because to humans, it's common sense to intervene, especially when you have the power and the ability to do so. But my opponent, he is okay with the parent not doing anything. The reason how we know this is because he is okay with his God having the exact same powers and not doing anything. But he makes excuses on why his God didn't move a single galactic muscle to stop the sexual assault on African women from slavery up until yesterday. But this is a God my opponent suggests we believe is real. He suggests this God is in control of all things. His scripture says when a calamity happens, it is the will of God. My opponent is okay with his daughter being sexually assaulted while God just watches. My opponent is okay with sending his son to a daycare institution and being molested because it's the will of God. 2022, Rob Elementary School. 21 dead, 18 injured while God sat and watched. 2017, Las Vegas, 60 dead, 867 injured, while God sat back and watched. Every 68 seconds, an American is assaulted while God sits back and watches. 2016, Orlando nightclub shooting, 49 people dead, 58 injured, while God sat back and watched. Over 450,000 sexual assault victims every year occur while God just sits back and watches. Your God does not exist, and I'm here to show you why.